Hey, my name is Fadi, and thank you for joining me on the Online Prosperity Show. Today I'll be talking about transformation and how you can allow your own phoenix to rise from the ashes that are in your surroundings. Now, welcome to yet another exciting episode of the Online Prosperity Show. And today we've got Fadi. Fadi, how are you doing, my man? How are you? Very well, thanks. Now, Fadi is based in Dubai, but he's been there for only seven years and he's been living um, there while he's an alchemist. Fadi is also a spiritual mentor and he also has a channel that he works closely with angels and ascended masters. Now, so happy to have you on the show today, Fadi, and thank you so much for your time. Thank you very much for having me. Great. Now, Fadi's passion is to empower people to awaken and to be all that they are. Why do you want people to awaken, Fadi? Um, well, I'll tell you a little bit about my story. Uh, because uh, if you know spiritual mentors, uh, they all start from their own stories, right? So uh, my story is one of, um, I tried to belong and fit in for the longest time. I failed miserably. Um, but I still tried and tried and tried. And then a few years ago, I took a few decisions that made me really awaken to the fact that I have to honor myself and be true to myself and uh, be who I am, like authentically uh, who I am. And that shifted my life completely. That was around five years ago. And uh, now it's my mission to help people do the same, to help people, you know, um, go beyond what they believe they should be or what they're programmed to be and instead be who they are meant to be uh, as their true nature. I, I believe that we are all uh, connected to the divine and the divine reveals his uh, majesty and glory through us if we allow him. Uh, and I, 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 it is my mission to help people do that by going beyond their limiting beliefs really and just connecting with their truth, their essence. Great stuff. Obviously, where we are right now, you know, there's a whole big paradigm shift. People are seeking to be conscious. People are seeking to be awakened. But when somebody doesn't realize that they're trapped in the matrix, how can they now notice that they're actually, you know, trying to feed into something they're not meant to be when that is what is being presented to us? Uh, I, I love the question, but I think um, I think we all feel that nudge uh, when we're doing things that don't serve us or that don't resonate with us. We feel emptiness, you know. So I, I, I work with a lot of people who come to me to rectify that feeling of emptiness. They they do a lot. They have a lot of money. They they have great jobs. They have everything that they thought that they needed, and then you know it's just not giving them the satisfaction or the fulfillment that they need. And I guess that's a clue uh, that would help them identify that they're, they're not really what they, where they want to be or where they desire to be or where they're meant to be. And that's, that's when their awakening begins. Right stuff. Obviously, so people have gone through the whole journey and they've gotten what society says is normal. You've gotten the job, you've gotten the career, you've gotten the money, you've gotten the, the car, you've gotten the house and then everything else, but you still feel empty. And yeah. they now are sitting in a position where they don't realize why this is. And that's where you come in, right? So how yeah. then how then does somebody realize or get to that stage to actually think okay this is what i've been you know gotten to 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 know but fadi is telling me it's otherwise how then can you let them realize that there needs to be a switch um I guess they will have to realize it on their own first, because to be very honest with you, I, I'm not, uh, I'm, and that's the first thing I tell to people I work with, I'm not responsible or accountable for their own transformation. I will assist them in their decision to transform because I teach accountability. Uh, that for me is very, very important. And that comes from a place of somebody wanting to and desiring to, um, live a better life for themselves, you know? Uh, they, they, they have tapped into their place of self-worth where they feel like whatever they are is just 
not doesn't serving them doesn't serve them anymore and they want more uh, my I would say that my niche um, specifically are I call them dormant phoenixes they're at the point where they're surrounded by their own ashes you know and they're just waiting to rise like a phoenix does and this is where I come in I, I, I want to start that fire within them to show them that there can be better for them than what they're experiencing or what they have experienced but for me a lot of accountability and self-worth and personal power comes into play great stuff so it does say that in all of this you are actually giving people their freedom back and ushering them with a bit of clarity right now walk us through Yes, walk us through the process of the phoenix is about to rise, but obviously you, you, somebody's not clear now as to, okay, am I just going to rise and flap my wings or am I just going to rise and shoot up to the sky? What, what sort of clarity are you working them through and what sort of freedom are you giving them back? Well, uh, we, I usually start my, my sessions through a, uh, what I call a discovery uh, session, which is a couple of hours of just chatter. Uh, about where the person uh, is on their journey, what are they happy with, what are they unhappy with. And then from there, I connect with uh, um, the angels that I work with and the Ascended Masters, and we bring them clarity about what action steps they can take now to make a shift. Because um, I, I, I'm uh, one of the main things I love to work on is to begin to, like again, stoke those fires of transformation immediately. And usually all it takes is a shift in perspective. That's it. You just, it's about looking at the same picture from a different uh, angle. And uh, that's usually where I start from. I, I, I usually start by helping them understand the main limiting belief that has been putting them back or holding them back and how they can shift it. And usually it's their stuckness is because um, they don't want to upset people or they don't want to, you know, not be a uh, part of the status quo or because, uh, you know, they're worried about losing a relationship, etc., etc. So, but at the end of the day, I help them understand that it starts with them and then whoever is meant to be with them on their journey will just stay and whoever is meant to leave will leave. So it's about, with me, there's a lot of independence, them standing in their power and then acting from there. And that's all about seeing uh, their truth or their life through their own eyes, not through the eyes of programming uh, of society and other people. Great. So you have mentioned a lot of independence and people detaching from what has been normal to them. And um, w when somebody gets into that position, what's the sort of first thing that comes into play? Because now they're in a position of not knowing and you've just given them that clarity. Um, you know, walk us through now that unknown sort of stage that that person enters, because that's the only thing that people are afraid of. The unknown. So exactly. if you can give us a bit of clarity on, on that aspect there. I, I love your question. Um, what, what, you're, what you're calling the unknown, I call the in-between phase, which is where you don't belong where you used to be, but you don't know where you're going. And that phase is frightening because, you know, you have no idea what's going to come next. And you know that whatever used to work for you before just doesn't work anymore. So that phase is very vulnerable, it's very uncomforting, it's very, for me it's also very liberating because it allows the person to let go of whatever doesn't serve anymore and to begin to create what's new. You spoke about clarity and I want to say something about that. You're not going to see the, the full picture from the very beginning, it's very much a process and it's very much about, you know, as you drive or as you go forward, you're going to see one step at a time, but that's how transformation is. Transformation is all about you being present with yourself, you honoring yourself, and you just creating this new vision as you go along. And with that, many things will seem uh, scary, frightening, and definitely many things won't, won't make sense. But for me, it's about embracing that and, you know, again, setting yourself free uh, from that through this, the fact that there are no more structures. And there's so much freedom that comes when there are no more structures, even though it, it feels scary. But and, and, and then you, what with that freedom, it's like having a, a new canvas. You can create things that serve you. And that's the beauty of it. 
Understandable. You actually nailed it with the whole in between, um, you know, uh, statement that you came up with there because it's the fear of the unknown that stops people dead in their tracks. Okay, now that we have come past that fear, we are leaving things that we are used to. So it comes with feelings of detachment, um, you know, yeah. release, there's guilt, there's anger because you know what? Your friend all borrowed you money last week and you didn't have and you, you don't want to leave them. And, you know, there's sadness because now you're in a position, that in-between phrase, where you don't quite know, are you supposed to be happy? Is that it? Is that where you're supposed to go? And then there's the frustration of what? Why am I doing this to myself and who's going to be there for me? I've, I've, I've grown up knowing all these exactly. people. Now, how do you help people understand all those emotions? Um, well, to get, to, get, uh, to get through this, you have to feel it. You have to really go through it. You know, many people, they, they try to take shortcuts when they try to transform. And transformation is not something you can shortcut at all. So uh, I love what you said about how do I help them with the feelings because it really is about feeling what you just uh, you know expressed in terms of the anger, the sadness, the frustration because these things are going to come. Uh, I, w what I would help them see is to not judge the feeling, you know, because many people judge sadness as bad or judge uh, discomfort as bad, but sadness is just an expression of an of energy. And uh, that energy was stuck in the heart chakra, for example, right here. And now this energy is coming out. It's, it's being released. And as that energy is being released, it's going to bring with, with it a lot of awareness. And that is the awareness that people require because people are, uh, they do a lot of work with their, with their mind. You know, um, uh, the, the earth, the earth has been very masculine energy for the, for the longest time, which is very much, uh, you know, logical. But there's a lot of truth that comes with emotions. I've experienced a huge transformation through anger, for example. Anger is not a bad thing if you learn how to channel it properly. And the same can be said for any other emotion. And all emotion is energy. It's about letting that energy truly express itself in a safe space, of course, and then helping you uh, or helping the client reveal what they, what they, their truth about that situation. Um, it's also like, you know, you were talking about the sadness. Uh, you would have to feel sad if somebody is, has mistreated you. But we, many people tend to hold that back because that person is an old friend or a family member and, you know, you have to take it. But from my perspective, you don't have to take anything. You just have to understand what serves you, what doesn't, and then act from there, from a place of empowerment and from a place of uh, self-worth and saying that, you know what, I, I'm better than this and I deserve better than this. Great. Oh, you, you do know what you're talking about here. So you did mention a lot of, um, you know, a, a, an energy release and also that which is around us and which is, um, you know, abound in the universe there. There's going to be a lot of rebellious energy that is, you know, emanating from yourself. And a whole lot of it is mixed emotions that we just talked about that people don't quite understand. Now, how do you help people actually channel that rebellious, you know, energy into like some sort of constructive manner? Because in such a state, some people don't even know how to deal with themselves and they might be self-sabotaging or self-hurting or, you know what I mean? So how do you help you know, get them to actually calm that energy into something that's actually usable so that they can actually, you know, you know, instill themselves to a happier existence. Uh, I, I want to answer your question through, uh, through a technique that I teach. And uh, I, I, teach, I teach a lot of people to, to, to journal. And when they journal, I ask them to first connect with their heart and then let the heart speak. Uh, and at first, it's not going to make sense. Uh, the, the thing is with people, to be honest with you, they're, they're too impatient. They just want to get to the bottom of things. But sometimes getting to the bottom of things might take two or three days of frustration and you're re feeling and releasing that frustration. And that's fine. So uh, what I want to say is, you know, when you start journaling or, yeah, when you start journaling, it looks very much uh, like a cloud at first. You know, it's just nothing has structure, nothing has form. And everything just seems very uh, un unclear, uncertain. And that's fine. And then when you begin to go deeper, that um, wave of rage or anger or frustration will subside because those emotions were bottled up and they were released. And then after that, you really get to see the truth. 
because that extra emotional state that you were in has just become more mellow and more clear. So, but again, as I said earlier, it's about, you have to go through that. So you have to go through the emotion and the feeling until you get to a point where there's clarity. And that's what I help people in. I support them while they're experiencing it. Uh, and that takes honesty. You know, it takes honesty for you to express or for a client to express how frustrated they are with their boss or with their spouse or with their children. And then as they allow that to come to the surface, it becomes easier. I just had a session with a client an hour ago and the session started with the client saying that everything is great in, in their marriage. It's just that the finances weren't great. And I'm like, okay, we'll, we'll, we'll work with that. And I started like, as by the end of the session, the client said that, you know, it's not just about the money. The, the whole relationship isn't working well and we need to shift it. But she came to that understanding because she allowed herself to talk and she allowed herself to experience what's, tr what's truly happening instead of just having a veil of illusion about what's going on. It's very easy to anchor or to throw uh, blame on a topic such as money. Because, and that, that is, that, that's when people surrender power, you know. It's when they give a reason for something that's outside their control. But I help them take that back in to their own hands. Oh, that's, that's remarkable that you actually managed to help her, you know, with, with her situation. Because, yes, humans are always looking for something to blame. And humans yeah. have become so impatient. Remember, these people that we're dealing with are people that are, you know, you know fixing world problems through watching netflix and netflix only has 30 minute episodes all right so people get married they divorce all in a matter of 30 minutes so how do you expect right. them to then deal with life where it goes in on a sort of day-to-day -day, um you know um activity but you did say you're helping people to break free from these self-sabotaging belief systems. Now walk us through, you know, one of the processes that you might just help somebody right now who's watching this and they don't realize that they're self-sabotaging that, you know, just break them through their trance and, you know, instantly show them results because, you know, they want results quickly. Absolutely. Yeah, of course. Uh, people are result oriented. And if, you know, there's no point me doing what I do if I'm not going to, help people get results. Um, well, I would say this. If there's anything in life that is not in order, I want whoever is watching to understand that it shouldn't be that way. Uh, everything is meant to be in divine order because we were created in the image and likeness of source, of God. And so we were perfect and we were created to experience perfection. Uh, I know what I'm saying sounds a bit far-fetched, but I just want you to go with me on this because that is what we're here to experience. We're here to experience the fullness of who we are as God wants to reveal himself through us and through our world. So if there's anything that's not working properly, whether it be money, relationship, uh, or any other aspect of your world, you have the power to shift that. I, I really want people to understand that. You were not, this was not given to you uh, as, as a punishment or as, a, as, a, as something that you have to accept as fate. I don't believe in fate. I believe, that, I believe in, in personal power. So if there's anything that you wish to shift, please know that you can. Start with that. And then once you start with that, become accountable for it. Don't quit on yourself. Many people set targets and then they quit. Don't. Keep going. Persist and go and accept nothing less than, than your desire. Once you have that in mind, that, then you really are ready to transform because transformation is not sudden. It is a process of change that takes quite some time. And during that process, you have to honor yourself. You have to be there for yourself. Of course, I'm going to support them and I'm going to be there for them, but they also have to learn not to be dependent on me because I'm not teaching them to be dependent on me. I'm teaching them to be independent. So they will have to go, there will be days where they're going to feel very frustrated because things in their mind should be way more advanced than when they are now. But transformation is about knowing where you are is exactly fine and knowing that all is well, even though it doesn't seem that way. And you go with it anyway. It takes a lot of commitment. Great stuff. So in, in that whole process, in that whole living what was to become something that now is, it's, it's yeah. very confusing. And how do they then marry the two people that is now the Phoenix from the person that was just sitting on Netflix and not worried about life or taking any control? How do you then help them to 
connect these two people through self-acceptance or maybe self-evaluation because that's where the disconnect starts happening because their old self might not accept this new newly found um, person yeah so how do you help them connect well we set targets uh, that is the main, the main important thing because if you don't have a target, so I st usually my packages uh, are over three months at least. So by the end of the three months from, from day one, we're like by the, the third month, these are the targets. And then it becomes easier for them because they can see an end point. They can see the finish line if you want to call it that. And, that. and then what I make them do is have kind of a vision board where they can re truly visualize that finish line. And when they're wavering in their faith and when they're wavering in their approach, they can see that finish line and then they can begin to work and see here and now, what are the limiting beliefs that are holding them back? What you said is beautiful because you said that, uh, you know, the old self will be, will bring in those self-sabotaging thoughts again and those patterns. And that is fine. That's what the old self will always do until, you know, we get, get, get through with it and then we release it. So when that is happening, uh, I want to say that, you see, for me, transformation is very much like an onion. You just peel one layer at a time. So at first, there will be a stage of us doing the basic work, the groundwork, the, the, the topmost layer. Then things will go smoothly probably for a couple of weeks. And then, you know, resistance will come to the surface. And then we have to peel another layer. To peel that layer is to be very present with, with where you are, to journal, and to express to yourself that I'm frustrated about this within myself. I'm frustrated about that in my world. And then we see how we can shift that. Now, I, I work with people on a weekly basis. So those things that come to the surface, I'll assist them in shifting them as they go along. But what I want to say is it really is a gradual process of being present, being aware, and then shifting. Great stuff. Now, Fadi, somebody might have been watching all the way up until here, and I really thank you for, um, you know, show, showing us your, um, you know, your strength and this valuable information. Now, how can people get a hold of you so that they can actually, um, you know, start making peace with the storms in their lives while they're actually moving, you know, onwards to freedom and clarity that you're mentioning that? Well, uh, I'm, I'm pretty active on my website. I'm pretty active on Facebook and on Instagram. Uh, my website is uh, F-A-D-I-S-A-R-I-E-D-I-N-E.com. Um, and my Facebook is with the same name, Fadi Sariyedin. So uh, on Facebook, I post weekly videos uh, and I do get uh, some really good um, you know, feedback from that. And through the weekly videos, they can also connect with how I work. They can see what I do. Uh, I also post uh, channeled messages from the Angels and the Ascended Masters, which is awesome guidance that I also post on a weekly basis. Uh, plus, I do group, I love doing coaching. That's a, a passion of mine. So I post a powerful question uh, every Monday uh, for people to just begin to tweak uh, patterns of thought that are, that are within them. So that's how people can reach me. Great stuff. As you can notice, folks, we, you can't run a business if your mind is not in the right place. If you're, you know, you're not in tune with the star player, the person that's going to be fielding all the, um, you know, punches that come along with the business environment. Now, you've heard from Fadi, and Fadi is actually an amazing mentor. He's equally humble with his talent and his psychic communication and channeling. Now, the most stunning aspect of his work, guys, as you have seen, he makes it seem so natural and seamless, which I think is what you should be expecting if you start working with him. Thank you so much, Fadi, for your time today. Thank you so much. It's a, it's a pleasure. Thank you very much. Great stuff. Now, if you've been watching this and you're wondering how you can get a hold of the Al um, um, Fadi and his coaching, I'm going to be putting all the comments, I mean, all the links in the comments below. And you really got to now step up and rise that phoenix and make sure that you are going through a deep transformative inner work that will actually assist you to have a business that's profitable and enjoyable. Thank you so much for tuning in and don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thank you. Wow. <laughs> Thank you so much. That was awesome. Yeah?
<laughs> I loved it. I really enjoyed it. <laughs> All right. Okay. Now there's one part, and then after that, I will definitely um, let you go. All right. I want you to introduce right. this show. All right. So you're going to say, Hi, my name is Fadi, and we're going to be on the online prosperity show. We're going to be talking about, you know, whatever you just talked about. So this is the front part of the show. Um, and I'll also use that as my Instagram stories. Yeah. Sure. Okay. Whenever you're ready, just fire away. <laughs>